Hey everybody, welcome to High Plane Games. Simon here, and this is Sheppy in the latest of my good card or board games uh, that I found on the internet and stuff. Uh, this is a one player card game uh, all around sheep. It's got some wonderful Japanese stuff going on as well, which you know I love, uh, and a great little story mode called Post Loves, if that is of interest to you. But I'm going to show you the basic mode to give you an overview of the game. Uh, this is highly, not so much luck based, but. Um, you do need a bit of luck for this to work in your favour. The idea is, uh, on the top of the cards, you've got a sheep stock. Uh, those sheep can come down into the field and you can have up to seven sheep cards in your field at one time. As you go along, you'll get the option uh, through one of your cards to kind of level up your sheep through the card rank. So it'll start off from one, go to three, 10, 30, 100, 300. The idea is to get to 1,000 sheep in the card um, and win the game. But you have to do that within four rounds um, of you playing through your deck of cards. You can see I've got 17 cards in my deck, but I've got five in my hand across the bottom. Uh, this has got controller support for the actual game, not the menus, bizarrely. Uh, but each card has its own, which is a bad one to show, um, has its own kind of thing that you can with. So the sheepdog discards another card from your hand, which is good for getting rid of, say, something like the slump, which releases half of your sheep cards, but it rounds down. Lightning releases one of your highest rank sheep cards. Dominion is how you basically can add cards up and then level them up one higher if you need to. And wolves reduces the rank of your higher sheep. So what you'll find is you've got pretty much an equal amount of cards that are positive and negative and where the luck factor comes into this game more than the strategy side is you're reliant on the order of cards coming out so that you're not completely and utterly bamboozled at the beginning of a, of a round. So this lump card releases half of my sheep but it rounds down so I'm going to use that because I've only got one card so I'll click on where I want it to do and it'll go out can't get rid of anything so that's its negative status effect is kind of removed for me um annoyingly that's given me my other dominion card though which is not going to be helpful for me right now um and i don't want to use my sheepdog because there's worse cards to have it on so i'm going to use a dominion card even though it's not going to do anything but what you would do normally is if you've got more than one sheep you'd be able to do other stuff. And here's a good example. So Multiply places a three sheep card onto the field. I'll have one of those, thank you very much. Okay. The Falling Rock releases one sheep card. If all of your sheep cards are released and there's no sheep in the field, it is game over. So that's why you need to be careful with that one. Uh, fill the Earth places as many sheep one cards in the field as you like. Okay then, I will. Now fill the earth is really really handy if you know that you're going to have quite a lot of horrible cards coming in. <laughs> it's quite useful. Um, Golden Hoofs raises the sheep, uh, raises the cards of any rank that you like. Mm. We're going to go for it. We'll raise the rank of everything. These now will become level 3 sheep. Ah, now that plague is not good. Because uh, the plague removes everything from one side of stuff, which is, which I might use my sheep dog for. But what I'm going to do first is continue on the happy path that I'm trying to get is I'm going to use my Dominion card. And the idea around this is I want to get these three cards. I'm going to level them up so that I can get one turn card. The amazingly drawn Be Fruitful card allows me to duplicate one of my cards. So what I'm going to do is duplicate my turn so that I get a second one of those. Because all I need is one more and then I can use a Dominion card again maybe in the future if I've still got one left to get that up to a 30. So hopefully it's starting to show where this goes. Now, I'm going to use... Oh, it's always the highest one, isn't it? 
さあ投げいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいいい Plague here because I'm gonna go on the three sheep to give me three ones. The other one that you can use the siphon, uh, the Scythian one on,、uh, because it essentially removes a card, a one card in your hand from the game. So I'm going to use it on the meteor. Ah,、oh, damn it! I should have used it on crowding. So I'm going to use the plague on the one because then that, because it removes everything from a certain thing. Then I'm going to use. Oh, I don't want to use the right. Let's use a be fruitful. Or shall I? No, let's use the crowding. A sheep, because the all-purpose sheep allows us to do a be fruitful again. Then we're going to use a wolf to lower down one of the tens to a three, but use the be fruitful to create another ten. And the inspiration. Basically, lets you go through everything, every one of your cards that you want to do, and pull one out. So if you're absolutely stuck, 
then it moves on. The card moves around to level 2, we're now on 10. Essentially we've got 3 rounds and then when you hit round 4 it's game over. So everything continues on, the, the cards are all reshuffled and we go again. So now we've got the planning sheet and crowding's back in there again. Now, do I... And then what I'm going to do... I'm going to pull out the Cephian one now to bring it in so that I can use the planning sheep on it to get rid of it. reshuffles the deck so now nothing's in the same order um So it's about trying to make sure that you get the right thing in the right time. And that's the strategy of Sheffy. Um, I really like how relatively simple the game is. But actually you've got quite a lot to kind of go mm -hmm, uh, with. So... get rid of that single three because then it kind of it's not hurting us too much um a wand Slump was coming. 
trying to think of what else we've got card wise that's still going to be about. Uh, right, so let's be fruitful and let's multiply that one. Aha, right, we've got feel the earth. So let's sheepdog on slump. Bugger either way. This is why Sheppy is so hard. Uh, right, so I'm going to fill the earth to get those three up. We'll then do the storm to get rid of two of those. And then we can golden hoof and rank all of these up. I can already tell now. <laughs> but I'll play, th I'll play this to the end of the game anyway. Okay. Oh, I don't want slump. <sighs> Let's be fruitful. <laughs> Sheep has come too early. Never a good thing. Yeah, we're gonna go inspiration. Because look at all of these horrible things we've got waiting for. kind of need to get what we... Let's go for broke. Right. Let's do... Because the bee fruitful gives us two. Right, yeah, right. Inspiration. Bring it in. Get a bee fruitful. This is all going to be purely down to how we get on with this. The beef fruitful, then will multiply us the 300. So that gives us two. No, not the wolf! <gasps> I should have all purpose sheep that. Right. I 
buggered it up, haven't I? <laughs> Everyone can tell what I should have done now. Sorry. Right, don't don't panic. Schmiffy's gonna lose, but we're gonna lose in style. Okay, so I'm gonna all-purpose sheep. But we'll have to do flourish and just level everything up. <laughs> Oh no! That's not the one that I meant! Oh, for goodness sake. Oh, do you know what? We'll do the sheep to get... No, I don't want the sheep to do the... get rid of the wolf. Got it wrong. And now we're a bit stuck. Sheep on the wolf. Let's do crowding. That gets rid of all of that. Ah, oh, not the plague. That's what I was supposed to try and do earlier, and it had gone a bit wrong. So the idea was that I, if I got the lightning, yes, that would go, but then I'd use the Dominion. Oh, hang on. Can we Golden Hooves those? First time I've won <laughs> because the Steam achievements have popped. <laughs> I really thought I'd buggered it earlier, and that's how you win at Sheffy. <laughs> oh, lots of dead sheep though. So aside from that, you have challenge mode, uh, which is ups the ante slightly. You've got a story mode where you can enjoy. Uh, little stories before you get onto stuff. I've not done the epilogue, as you can see. Uh, and some little extras there as well about how to play and configuring up stuff along with galleries of cute cartoon sheep. 
So, pick this up on Steam, it's quite cheap. Um, I'm sure it's available in other places as well, but that's where I got it. There's a Steam Summer Sale coming up soon, so I'd imagine it'll be in that. You guys take care, bye for now. This channel is just one of my many projects that cover games, music and film. If you enjoy any of these and would consider supporting me to develop further in the future, you can do so by visiting patreon.com forward slash Thank you for your time and for watching the video.